Hello. In this video I will tell you how to use Canon Inkjet Scan Utility on Canon Multifunctionals. I will demonstrate the following in this video and more about software you can find in the playlist in the upper right corner of the screen. You can find more about inkjet scan utility from the get the most out of your printer. Select use various scan functions to find more information. Let's install the inkjet scan utility on the Mac first. If you are a Mac user and your printer supports AirPrint, then you don't need any drivers, you just need to install Scan Utility software from the software support site. And it has the same functionality as Windows Inkjet Scan Utility. For Windows, you do the same and you find message that software is not supported. But it's not true as you can find it inside the MP drivers. Select the driver tab and install the drivers for your PIXMA printers. Here I downloaded the installation file and let me show you where you find the setup to install the inkjet scan utility in case it hasn't been yet installed on your computer. Follow the next steps for installation if you haven't yet installed. And I speed up some parts of the video not to be too long. Finally, I have installed the scanning software and let's see how to scan photos. Run the inkjet scan utility. I put two photos in different sizes on the glass and I just select auto scan. This is the simplest scanning as built-in software automatically detects the documents or photos and adjusts all the necessary settings. Photos are recognized and cropped into two JPEG files with photo quality scan mode and high resolution of 1200 dpi. With Canon multifunctionals or scanners you can also scan bigger than A4 format images by using the Stitch Assist software. Stitch Assist functionality is part of Inkjet Scan Utility. I demonstrate on one of the leader scanners. And to find more about leader scanners, check the videos in the upper right corner of the screen.
if you want to have more control over your photo scanning settings you need to use the scan gear scan gear driver has two modes basic and advanced let me do the preview for more possibilities image settings filters and so on you need to use the advanced mode Here I speed up my video a little bit to demonstrate the image setting possibilities. I played with the color settings a little bit. When you select the resolution from the drop down menu, the maximum you can select is 1200 dpi. And to scan even with higher resolution, you can simply enter the value number. Here I enter 2400 dpi and I will scan only small piece of my image. Scanning the image. Let's open the image and check the file properties. That was about photo scanning and there are more settings in the Canon Inkjet Scan Utility. The scan modes can be programmed with different settings. For more detailed video with scanner device and scanning to cloud, check the video in the upper right corner of the screen. Full inkjet scan utility menu can be customized. On the second tab, you can set up free modes for push scan from the multifunctional device. There is auto, document and photo scan preset. On the printer, select scan menu, select the computer and then one of the possibilities. Before I show how to do it, in this video I use the following PIXMA models of the G series. For ink model you can find product review in the upper right corner of the screen and I'm also using the 6 ink photo printer for which you can also find the review in the upper right corner and more info in the description below. In the last part I will set my device for efficient document scanning. Open the settings. I could select custom scan to scan from the computer but I will set up save to computer option to scan directly from the multifunctional device by creating a searchable PDF. You can preset many scan options and I leave the resolution to be selected from the operational panel. Let's set the document. Select scan, select destination which is my network computer, I will select to scan a document and then I can select different settings including the resolution. When I'm happy with my settings, I can just press start button to scan to PDF. After scanning first page, the printer asks me to continue. 
I can put another page to the scanner and this would create multi-page PDF. But for this demonstration I will scan only one page. I select no and the computer opens the PDF. The text on my document was recognized with the optical character recognition software called OCR. I can now select, edit, delete, copy the text in my document or let the computer read the text for me. The Sol's turnover for the whole company for this fiscal year shows on increase of 23.8%. Perishable goods were Wahav, even concentrating our efforts, was one Creo which so significant growth. This still showed on increase at 17.7% .7 on the previous term. Breakdown breakdown by business domain by export destination. In the last part, I will scan using auto document feeder. On Pixma models, it is usually only one sided and available on the TR series models. You can find more about TR series in the upper right corner of the screen playlist. The settings in the Inkjet Scan Utility makes it possible to scan two-sided originals with one-sided ADF. From the main menu, select Settings. And in the Document Scan source, select ADF Manual Duplex. For this scan, I scroll down to Application Settings. You can open PDF with application, send to cloud, attach to email or do the OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition. Text from the document is extracted to a text file. Here is my two-sided document I set to the feeder and scan. I scan in the real time. After first page is scanned, I get on-screen illustrated instructions to follow to put the original back to the feeder. Pay attention to the page orientation. Select Scan to scan the second page. My result is text file with the text recognized from the original and that would be all in this video. And that would be all in this video. You will find more content on my YouTube channel in the upper right corner. Feel free to comment, ask questions and don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell so you will be notified about future uploads about the printers. Thank you for watching and sharing. Bye.